How was the food? Uh, what was the food? Wait. How was the food different? Is that what you're trying yeah, to say? Yeah. How was the food different? <laughs> yeah. In Jamaica. Yeah. And America. Which one's better? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> go outside and pick a mango off the tree, right? Oh, oh, my God. You know? I love this mango. Options. It's not a, I, I can get guava off the tree in my backyard. Oh, my oh my God. I love guava. So I do have apple trees in my backyard, but, eh, you know, it's, it's still not the same. Mm. So I, I can't compare America to Jamaica. Jamaica is a beautiful island in the Caribbean. Oh. It's, America is so big and, you know, I think America is a good country. It's better. <laughs> Are the drawings connected to your life? Like, do they mean something? All of my paintings are meaningful to me. Oh. Um, there's a reason why I create what I create. Um, difficulties while painting? Yeah, like throughout, like, if you struggled in any times, like. Struggles? <laughs> life is not easy for anybody, you know? Sometimes we go through ups and downs. Oh. Art, art can save you from, uh, a lot of things it's always i think it's cooler to be the the weird outcast sometimes than to fit in with everybody else and i was a weirdo an outcast everybody thought i was different because i had a very thick accent and i didn't operate like most of the american kids and i took a summer school art class and there was an art teacher in there who um saw my talent and he believed in me and he, you know, supported me through the summer school class. Am I answering your questions? Yeah. 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 You're, you're, you're just sitting tight, like. <laughs> a father and a son. Oh yeah, that's it. And someone interpreted it to be like a king and his, you know, the prince. Yeah, Muhammad did. So we we're wondering, you know, what's behind? What's the story behind? Good. That image is actually of. Um, uh, they're actually twins. Really. Yeah. Oh yeah! Okay. Yeah. But Mohammed and his brother Wally. <laughs> <laughs> They're Nigerian. Oh. Uh, they're Igbo. I'm Nigerian and I'm Igbo, sorry, I just have to say it. <laughs> so, when I was growing up as a kid in Jamaica, I used to kill birds with slingshots. <laughs> oh my god! And roast them outside and eat them and I enjoyed them. Oh my god. Now I'm a vegetarian, believe it or not. Oh wow. <laughs> But um, I uh, always appreciated birds, even though I used to eat them, because they could fly away. Freedom. You know? Um, so when I got sick, I, was, I have a very rare disease called IgA nephropathy. It's common in Caucasian and Asian men. And uh, obviously I'm a woman. And I couldn't believe it. I ended up on dialysis. And dialysis is where you're locked in a machine and they clean your blood and, you know, you kind of stuck there. And so when I started to paint, um, when I got my transplant, my brother gave me a kidney. A brother I didn't know in Jamaica gave me a kidney. But when I got my transplant, I decided that I would put a bird in my paintings as a reminder of my freedom from illness, from being trapped on the dialysis machine. So birds, they go wherever they want to go, they fly wherever they can fly, and that is my reminder of my survival. So that's just a little personal thing I put it on my paintings. The, the creative process is not always about acting on it all the time. So the, the creative process is, is it includes thoughts. <laughs> and so for me, um, I spend a lot of time thinking and writing down ideas and sort of going through my head to make sure what I'm going to do makes sense. Mm -hmm. So that's a part of the process. So even if I'm not physically drawing or painting something, I'm always in the process of creating. Mm -hmm. Always. So right now, I am. I have a new idea for a series that I'll be working on shortly. Mm -hmm. And so I'm thinking it out, making sure it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever you choose to do, you just make a decision, and then you master it. You try to be the best at it that you can be. The best you you can be. Don't compare yourself to anybody. What's your, what's your name? Tina.
Ooh. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Good job. Ladies first. Ladies first. Mohammed, where's your drawing? <laughs> He's shy again. Oh, he don't know my name. He don't know my name. He came in late, so he didn't do one today. <laughs> you still want to do this? I don't know. Wow. Does she have a mole on her face? <laughs> no. <laughs> no face. Wow. Don't have a mole on my face, right? <laughs> Wait, what no. Um, she She's fascinated in snakes. So what I done was half of her face is like a snake skin, and the other half. I didn't finish, so that's why it looks a bit. Stop. So I hear that like this so the guy that I was talking to about he tried to draw me. Yeah. Uh, uh, I see, and I see the stars you talked about. Yeah. And then we all like done ourselves and other people.